Hello and welcome to erpwebtutor.com. This is Aradeep. And in this tutorial, we are going to cover the basic navigation functionality in Oracle application. Now, this is going to be very useful for the users who are using the application uh, for the first time or they're new to this application. So what we'll do is we will uh, cover each and every step that uh, will help you, you know, use the system more efficiently and uh, we will cover those areas uh, in details. So the first thing that uh, happens is when you uh, get access to the application, you open the URL and you see this login screen. So um, in the login screen, let's enter the username and password that has been provided to the user. So in my example, the username is HR user and I'm going to enter the password. Now, as you can see that when I entered the password, it is asking me to change the password. Now, it is an important point to know that uh, when you log in for the first time, when your account has been just created and you log for the first time, then you will have to change the, pass the password. Also, uh, in case uh, you have forgotten your password and you request the the admin or the sysadmin team to reset your password manually from the application and when they provide you that password you can use this password to log in and the same screen will appear that you'll be <coughs> forced to change the password so basically that is some um, security measure that has been built into the application so i'm going to reset my password by uh, first i'm going to enter the existing password and then i'm going to enter the new password so once i do this i can just use the new password that i just created and and it will not force me to change the password now a lot of companies what they do they uh, add some more uh, security to the to this application by you know like increasing the password complexity so let's say you have to have eight characters you have to have a number so all those features can be built in so that your password cannot be hacked that easily uh, also they they make sure that you know you reset your password every 30 days or 60 days whatever uh, is convenient uh, whatever is the company policy so these kind of uh, standard security uh, functionalities is built into the system that can be leveraged so once you log in what you are seeing is a two pane like one is the left hand side and the other is the right hand side you are seeing a two navigation pane screen okay now if you are seeing this thing for the first time uh, just for a quick reference so you can have is like a search here uh, you can see that you are logged in as that the your user account and on the left hand side what you see is the list of the responsibilities that is assigned to your user and on the right hand side you have your work list where you see all the notifications that uh, you have received in my case right now this is a brand new user so there are no notifications um, depending on you know how the notifications are set whether you're using self-service uh, or I expense or whatever any other self-service module uh, you will receive or you'll be able to view those notifications on your work list okay so this is what we are seeing on the left hand side it's called uh, the list of responsibilities so you can see the demo us self-service demo us manager self-service demo us super hrms manager now these are nothing but the responsibilities that are assigned to you so you can get into the application using these responsibilities now uh, as you can see the the plus icon on the left hand side indicates that it can be expanded so let's go ahead and expand the first one so once we expand the first one uh, we can see there's another folder structure which means that that also can be expanded and then after that what you're seeing is basically some of the, the functions so you can just click on these and some page is going to open now look at the difference between this 
and I will also expand the other responsibility so that you can see the difference and you can understand what is happening here. So uh, as you can see, uh, when you have the space lip, absence management, the view edit personal information under the EMP SSHR, you can see, look at the icon next to it. It has a different icon compared to this test, enter and maintain. Now we can open some other, you can see this, this icon is different from the icon present under the self-service. So what it tells me that there's some difference between uh, this particular function or this URL right now, let's say, uh, you can see it as in hyperlink, it can be clicked and something's going to open. <clears throat> so there's something different between this one and this one. So <clears throat> just to give you an idea that Oracle eBusiness Suite uh, up to release 12, it uses Oracle forms uh, for a lot of the data entry screens. And the way it has been designed that it it, it is built on the Oracle forms, but it actually opens on the web. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> what will happen is, you know, when once you click on these, so these are basically a form-based screen, okay, and these are browser-based screen. So, w when I open this one, it's going to open straight on the browser, okay. The form, it requires some additional things. So, let's first see a browser-based screen, okay. So, we will click on the paste lip. Okay, so you can see that it doesn't matter because right now this is a brand new employee, so there are no pay slips for the pay period, so it's asking me. But the point is, look at the the browser. It is it has opened in the same browser. Okay, it has not opened any other tab. It has not opened any other window. So that is important to understand. It opens on the same browser that you are on. Okay, now once you come onto the screen. Uh, it is recommended that you do not hit the back button. Instead, you you click on home to get to the home page. Okay, so you click on home, and then otherwise, what is happening is every time you go to a self-service page, it is gathering a lot of information about the user account that has logged in, and it is deriving certain values. So if you hit the back button, sometimes those values you know, it is still stored in the session and then if you try to do some other activities, uh, it might conflict. So it is recommended that you, instead of using the back button, you just press on home to get to the home page. Now, we have seen how the, the browser-based screens behave. Now let's do and test uh, any of the form-based screen. Doesn't matter which one I open. I just, oh, I'm opening any random form-based screen to show you how it actually works. And by now, you must be familiar with the icon that, okay, if you see an icon like this, it is going to open uh, on form. So right now, I'm opening the payroll description form and let's see what happens. So as you can see, it has, it is, it has opened something in the background and then it finally opened this particular screen. And this is the navigator, okay? So we will close this and we will again quickly recap what just happened. So this was my this was my original page from where I navigated to the payroll description screen. Okay. And then after that we saw there was an intermediate screen that came up before the actual form opened which is this screen this is the the j initiator as the you know like as it is explained here that closing this window will actually cause the oracle form based applications to close without losing i mean losing any unsaved data so this is the j initiator or the java that is actually running behind the scene so that you can work on the forms using a browser. See, Oracle Forms was not originally designed to work on the browser. It was a form that it was an application that has to be installed on your local computer and you can enter the data. 
but Oracle merged those forms uh, by putting it onto the browser by using this J initiator or the Java. So this actually runs in the background so you can open the forms in the browser. Now if you are using this the form based application for the first time uh, you might encounter some issues with opening the Java depending on uh, some of the settings in your computer. So you might have to reach out to your IT help desk for uh, resolving such issues. So basically, you know, just to give you an idea that this is what happens. So if something, you know, it, if this, this form doesn't open, you don't need to freak out. It's probably and there's an existing Java version sitting on your computer. It could be that, you know, your Java, uh, I mean, you do not have the Java. So what if you do not have the Java when you click the form for the first time, uh, it is going to uh, download the J initiator version from the server. So where the server means where this application has been installed. So in such cases, it is uh, less likely to cause any issue because it downloads the version that it needs. Apart from that, you might have to do some uh, settings on your Internet Explorer so that your IT help desk person can help. So basically, uh, when we were on the browser based home page, we had the left hand side, which was our responsibility navigator. And on the form, we have the very the exact same navigator. So uh, if you just do a comparison, so let's do a comparison between the two. So see right now, I'm on my demo US Super HRMS responsibility. And it is, it is the same thing that I was seeing on the browser. That is exactly what I'm seeing on the form. So these are expandable. There is a plus sign. That means there is something is going to open. And if it doesn't have a plus sign, that means the screen is going to open. Okay. A plus sign means that it's going to expand. If there's no plus sign, that means a form is going to open. Okay. Now uh, we will cover the navigation of the forms and menus in the next tutorial. But uh, for this, we just wanted to show you how to get into the application, what you see on the application when you first log in, how the form based application and the browser based applications are different. So that was the goal for this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we will cover, uh, we will try to understand some of the terminologies that's, that is used in the application. We will try to understand uh, the difference between menus and functions. Uh, we will also see how to query uh, the data from the application. So that will be all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.